Come with me on a visit to the Mission Hall Antique Centre in Barnard Castle, where I'm going to introduce you to some fascinating people. Look. How much are they? The, the, Twelve quid? Yeah. No a tenner. A tenner. A tenner. My goodness, man. No wonder you're selling loads of stuff. I do. <laughs> and do you love the hunting? Oh, my God. Do you know... I go to bed at night and I just dream about it. Here you go, go on, in you go. Two truly fabulous items. Come on then. In you go. Yeah, that one. Wow. That's probably the most expensive. That's like 3,200. So yeah. Do you do all the cleaning? No, I don't. <laughs> First room, that's it. First room. Good girl, go on. A little bit of Staffordshire there. Good old Staffordshire, sort of mid 19th century. These things were incredibly popular during the Victorian period and then massively popular if you're old enough to remember the 1980s. Do you remember them being very popular in the 80s? What have we got? We're in the dog lead. 55, there you go. That would have been 300 maybe in the 1980s. Just goes to show the antiques world changes doesn't it Rose? Let me know in the comments if you see something that you really like, something I've missed. So this is one of two rooms at the Antique Centre here, the Mission Hall in Barnard Castle. So as you walk in you've got two big rooms, one on the left, one on the right. So both rooms are managed by individual dealers. So what you're doing here is you're looking at one dealer's taste, style, interests. And I always find that really interesting, the fact that when you look into a room owned and managed by one dealer, you're really effectively looking into their home because this is obviously how they furnish their home. They do because it's very hard for antique dealers to ever buy stuff they don't like. So you're buying into their, their taste, the kind of things that they like. That's nice. Japanese. What's that? Probably early 20th century. Priced at what? And what have they described it as? Oriental. Yeah, 120 quid. It's no money, is it? It's Japanese, no doubt. Made for the Western market. Very exotic. Nice colour. What would you do with it? It's basically a, like a collector's cabinet, isn't it? Japanese text, writing, script. Again, meaning nothing to anybody because it wasn't made for the home market. So it doesn't have any kind of cultural significance or religious significance. Made, designed purely for the Western eye. And what an interesting thing. Yeah, good collector's cabinet. For 120 quid, it's not bad. Right, Rose, next room. Go on, next room, go on. No, wrong direction. Go on, this one, good girl. Go on, in there. No, wrong direction, go on. In there. <laughs> I thought she was quite well trained. Right, second room. Very churchy. Arts and craftsy. Two two five. So, corner cupboard, I suppose. Yeah, interesting. Now that is a good-looking lump, papier mâché, very Victorian. With it being exceptionally black, you can date that to post eighteen sixty. So eighteen sixty to eighteen ninety, these things were very popular. But that is a humongously large tray. I mean, that was designed for a very big house. It's can you hear it? And it's very light. So literally, paper, papier mâché. 100 quid, not bad. Stop moaning. Dog and cat pictures are always popular. She's crying because she can hear voices. Go on then, go on then, go find them, go on. 
Nice, inexpensive pocket watches there. <clears throat> right now into the main room. Well, last time, last time she was up, we went for a walk and and they went to the woods. It's Christmas time in Barney Castle. There you go, that's a good piece of furniture, Walnut Davenport. So a small writing desk. You've got a flight of drawers on one side and you'll have a flight of drawers on the other, but only one side of drawers will work. So one side is blank, but it's a real good working piece of kit that. That'll have a lift up lid, which will contain a, oops, I've just, <coughs> sorry about that Dave, something's just dropped off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the dog has rocked around my legs. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that Davenport now. <laughs> so back onto the Davenport then, yeah. So Victorian, what is it, 1870, 1880, something like that. So a real good working piece of kit. This lid will lift up. So you've got lots of wells there for stamps, documents, satin wood lined, very good quality thing and designed and made for a Captain Davenport in the 19th century by the famous cabinet makers Gillows of Lancaster. And the reason why it was called the Davenport desk is because Captain Davenport ordered this desk specifically to suit his own requirements. This was the very first time it had ever been made and Gillows referred to it as the Davenport order. So when they first made it and delivered it, Everybody loved the design and it gained the name the Davenport Desk after a certain Captain Davenport. How much is that one, Dave? Do you know? He's gone out. Has he gone? Yes. <laughs> I'll find out. Is there not a um, price on there? Can't see a price on it. Can we? Oh, would you mind? Thank you. Yeah. It might be the bit I dropped off. Okay, here we are. Oh, go on. Let's have a look. And I can't see it. <laughs> Which does it Between the two of us. Eyesight. What does that What does go. that say? This is a bit small. Isn't it, it is, isn't it? 495? I don't know. It is. 495. 495. There you go. There you, there you go. go. <laughs> well done. Bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. 495. Yeah, well, it would have been substantially more many years ago, wouldn't it? So do you, are you a dealer here? I am. Oh, where's, yes. where, where are your pieces? So cabinet 28 right. is mine. Antique silver speciality is uh, Royal Worcester or Lalique. Oh, right. That's mm -hmm. a nice, so this is your interest. This is my interest, yes. So I put all my interest into the cabinets. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Well, I was yeah. just saying that actually, that when you come to an antique center, you, you do buy into individual dealers interests. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's very hard to buy something you don't love, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, you've got to enjoy and you've got to like it yourself. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't deal in something I didn't like. Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. Can we so, have a look at your camera? Yeah, of course yeah, you can, on. yeah. You show me. Okay. Oh, wow. This is it. The whole thing? These two. Oh, wow, that is yeah. a... Oh, look, Rosie's very interested. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, so very good silver there. Some nice pieces. What's the most expensive piece of silver? Um, In there... I would probably say the four piece, the Victorian, no, actually Georgian on this one, I think. The tea set? Yeah, the four piece one. Yeah, that one. Wow. That's probably the most. It's like 3,200. Yeah. yeah. What have you got? Teapot, coffee pot, yeah. sugar bowl, and cream. There we are. My gosh. Do you do all the cleaning? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Silversmith. Send them all in, in bulk loads. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Do you? Oh, yes, I have to. Oh, because they are absolutely immaculate, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they have to be to go in here, I think, uh, so. Do, do, you, do you find that people want to buy them in that kind of condition, like almost, almost like new? 100%. The thing is, there's a lot of people who I deal with, they want it where it's 
it may, looks like it's brand new. Yeah. But I think it's probably because it lasts better for them and the maid can just give it a wipe or clean over or whatever. But yeah, I mean, some of these pieces come in black. Yes. Tarnished. Yeah, they do. And then as soon as you see it, it I get a picture from before and after. Yeah. And I, and I like to see the difference. Yeah. And, and what it is, and I'm like, oh my god, like the work in it is better than what yeah. it was first time because yes. it was sort of like all tarnished. But I love to see it all polished up as well. It's well, lovely. I mean, I mean, the, the way we're looking at it right now is exactly the way these things were designed and made yeah. to look like. Yeah, I mean, all these things were usable items, and they were designed to be exactly. Used. Yeah. Nobody uses them now, but they all were used in, you know, back in the day, weren't they? I mean, these cruet sets and. Tea sets were something was everyday use. Of course, well, isn't it funny how, how the world has changed? So designed to be made and used for someone yeah. of wealth. Yeah. Now to be designed and made and displayed by someone That's of wealth. Exactly. Yeah. And, and in a cabinet. In a cabinet, not, not to be handled. Not to be touched. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what about the Worcester? What do you love about Worcester? The Worcester fruit. I think it's just because you know it's all individually painted. There's not a piece. None of this is the same, no. and that's what I like about it. It's not a mass-produced item. It's sort of like every bit of detail is different on each piece of, of raw Worcester fruit. And do you have a favourite artist? I like Bagnell. Bagnell? I like Shuck. I like the really old painters. Yeah, I think they're... Oh, some of their... I mean, you could just look at it and the fruit is edible. You can look yeah. at it and you want to yeah. eat it. <laughs> and that's what they did, didn't they? They painted like that. But, um, yeah. They really did. Yeah, I, mean, I love the older painters. I mean, and they worked at the factory from boys and exactly. young girls yeah, did, to, yeah. you know, retirement age, didn't they? Did, yeah, yeah. And are there any particular painters from the Worcester factory that are more collected than, than others? I'd say it's more Freeman, Ayrton. They're the more common ones. I was going to say that. just because they're common, I think, because yeah. they're known... Um, I'd say the older painters, price, you can get a lot of price things. But if you look at Bagnell, you don't see much of, of Bagnell. So they're more desired. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, I would say Ayrton and Freeman is sort of like everyone knows them. They'll, if they ask you, they go, have you got an Ayrton plate or right. a Freeman plate? Yes. They sort of know that. Because they've seen them somewhere Yes, else. yes, yeah. because there, there's, there, there's quite a lot of that, of them plates about, or dishes in there. It's sort of like, you know, who's painted them, yeah. painted them, but I don't think you see as much as um, as the older painters like Albert Shook. You don't you don't see as much as them, but I like them one better. Oh, I'll tell you what I They're like. They're my favourite. I like your passion. Thank you. I really do. I have to have a passion for it, or I wouldn't be no good at selling it. You're so right. Yeah, it's yes. True. Well, keep enjoying it. I will. Lovely to meet you. And you too, dear. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Rosie. Come on. Hello. I'm going to have to deposit the dog somewhere because she keeps pulling me over. Trains are always popular. That's cheap, isn't it? Ten quid for a model train. Very cheap. <laughs> Sorry. She keeps dragging me all over the place. <laughs> Do you mind me chatting to you on my YouTube channel? <laughs> Are you are you a dealer or are you looking just looking? Because oh, I I know you from somewhere. Where do I know you from? I've often been in this shop. Don't ah work. right, yes yes. Good to yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah good to see you. So what? Go on. And I'm just like browsing around. Yeah, brilliant. Around. Yeah, it's a good day for it. Oh, yeah. It's nice and warm in here. <laughs> so what are you looking for in particular? Pictures. Pictures. Yeah. Oh right. For I'm you lacking. or? I'm, no, for myself. I'm lacking a few. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like, uh, yeah. Me. yeah. See what to have. Brilliant. Well, loads of luck. Good hunting. Thank you. Nice to see you. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, 
bit of a flashback to the 1960s, 1970s there for you. Look at that. <laughs> Wicker chair. Musical instruments. And there you go, talking about 60s. Lots of vintage stuff in here as well. So again, a room that is very distinctly different. Look at that, 1970s. Pottery, that's so cool now. But bizarrely, much cheaper to buy the original 1970s than it is to buy copies of 1970s stuff. It's a funny world. Very funny world. But with this stuff, I suppose you have to go out hunting for it. Where with the reproduction 1960s, 70s potteries and porcelains, you can just order it online. So it, it makes it much easier. But I would argue it's much more fun actually hunting. Without the dog pulling you all over the place. More Staffordshire. That's a sweet little thing, isn't it? What's that? Victorian 19th century, 1880 beach child's chair. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that natural wear. Just can't reproduce that at all. That is lovely. 100 and 125, that's all right. Nice thing. Bizarrely, when it comes to furniture, often the miniature furniture like that is worth a lot more than the full size. So the best example would be this chest of drawers here, which is a probably a circa 1900 Victorian chest of drawers, which has been painted, so it's been revamped, possibly missing its top, might have had a, a big wooden linen cupboard on the top of there. But um, how much is that? 295, but you'd pay much more for a miniature version of that chest of drawers, something that would be not much taller than that cardboard box because miniature pieces just have a following. Come on then, Raz. I'm coming by. You're on again. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you'll be on yeah, twice. I know. <laughs> Who's that? My daughter. Hello. You're on YouTube as well. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> She's in Amsterdam. Oh, in Amsterdam. Hello there. Yeah, that's a boyfriend. Uh, oh, husband. very good. Husband. husband. Uh, yeah. Husband. Enjoy yourselves in Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a bit of mouse man. Mouse man pieces are always desirable, always big money. Oh, that's not bad. Is that a breadboard? Back of that. That is not bad at all. £170. Very easily make that in auction. It's another much rarer shape on there. 330 So what were you just saying about Dave? Um, Go not, on. Not a lot. No, I actually would be lost without him. <laughs> he is very good, isn't he? He is. He's yeah. okay. I'll, I'll introduce everybody to Dave. Okay. Here he is. Here he is. Now, Dave, how, how many days a week are you in the centre? Um, five, one, and seven, the other. What? How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> you do well, one week, we do seven days. One week, I do seven days, and then the other, I do five. So, so yeah. you get and one day, day off a week, effect, effectively. Basically, yeah. yeah. So you love it as well, don't oh, you? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Keeps me out of mischief. It does, doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah. But you've got some stuff in here, Dave. Yeah, I do. The mine's the middle room with the mid-century stuff. I knew it was. Yeah. Yes, with the 1970s pottery yeah, and that nice kind of stuff. Yeah, very nice stuff. good stuff. Yeah. I was being very complimentary about it. <laughs> Most people aren't. <laughs> <laughs> now, you do a lovely job. It's nice and warm. It's always a good atmosphere. Yeah yeah, 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 we do well, yeah. Brilliant. I'll keep looking around. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, come on. So, Dave, would you mind looking after the dog for a little while? It'll be fine. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Dave, I've, I've, I've come across this lovely dealer here. Okay. Here she is. One of our regulars. What? Yes. Hey, introduce yourself. In the business, Yvonne yeah. Raves. Hello, Yvonne. Nice to see you again. And something different antiques. Yeah. And we know you very well. I know you very well. But I didn't know you were in here. Show me your stuff. I'll show you, Dave. Okay. Come on, then. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> and enjoy your time with Rosie. Rosie. Rosie, okay. yeah. Oh, we have a Rosie. <laughs> Third time. Very <laughs> interesting amount of stuff. Oh, yes. And lovely. always a deal to get. Oh, nice, nice. You know? Oh, wow, you've got a very good collection, selection well, of stuff in there. Well, there's a lot of stuff and some people find it a bit overwhelming, oh, but no, that's good, you well. just have a route about. Right, do you, you specialise in anything? Take. But apart from, it's small things, small things are good. Well, the cabinets are meant for small things, but- I agree with you. Yeah, they've been so good to me here. Yeah. Have they? Yeah. You're doing well here? I do well. Brilliant. Four and a half years. Brilliant. Been very successful. I can't say anything else. Well, your prices are exceptionally good, I must say. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, and I always come down. You can go up, but you you know what I mean? Yeah, no, good for you, good for you. So are you in here regularly as well then? Well, Lorraine, who helps Dave out here, she does sort my cabinet out for me, to be fair. Yeah. Because see, I've, you can see I've got all um, many fiddly bits, you I know? I like it, I like it a lot. I know. It's really good. Look What's... at that, this Liberty threads I've got. Look at that lovely silk thread from oh Liberty's for about 1920s. Isn't that beautiful? It's amazing. Candle snuffers there. I did a little video yeah, recently on candle snuffers. There's all sorts. How much are your candle snuffers? Oh, wait. Oh, they're only, look. How much are they? The, the, 12 quid? Yeah. Uh, no money. A tenner. A tenner. A tenner. My goodness. I mean, no wonder you're selling loads of stuff. <laughs> Dave says to me, Dave says to me, you've only got too much stuff in that cabinet. But I'll tell you what, who sells? Me. You do. Yeah, exactly. And do you love the hunting? Oh, my God. Do you know, I go to bed at night and I just dream about it. Do you? Done it for 30 years. Yes. It's like, it's, it's all part consuming. of your mind. It is, it is, isn't it? And so the excitement of getting up early in the morning and oh going God. to a, a, a boot fair. I remember or... Janet Richard, right, this is going back some years. It's going back 30 years. Janet Richard was down Lancashire, right? It was before Newark started. Because that took over it. It was the most wonderful place. You could go outside and sell your stuff. And then you could go inside and sell, sell your smalls. Yeah, and then buy loads of stuff as well and, while you were there. Well, I loved it. Oh, it's an exciting... Oh, I'm, I'm, it's I wonderful the you're still enjoying it. The, enjoy it. It's exploration. What's the word? Inspirational. Yeah. Yeah, satisfying. And so it's, it's not work, is it, Yvonne? It's, it's your hobby that makes you a living. Well, it's pleasure. No, I'll change that. Go on. Since somebody's hobby didn't make them a living. No, it's not that. It's like, uh, it's there. Yeah. It's, it's in your soul, isn't it? It's in yeah. your soul. I can't explain it anymore. But, no, you've explained it beautifully. Yvonne, lovely <laughs> to see you. <laughs> lovely to see you. Oh. Okay, so enjoyed that so much. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, Bye, Bye. Bye.